right, guys. Clan versus Clan tournament finished today. I am your host, Sass the Squatch, also known as uh, the God Who Weeps. Let's see how we did, guys. All right. Well, we got a ring. We got two rings. Two six-star rings. All right. So, uh, fought the good fight. Came in about two and a half million short. These guys came to play and did not mess around. I uh, was able to seal the deal at 21st place. So, not too shabby at 143k. Probably going to have to up those minimums. Uh, I think we've been talking about that. No, we've been talking about that in the clan chat on Discord, so we'll get it done. Husker Rules Fragment Event. The Stunner. Let's see if we can actually see him now. Let's get this shit out of here. Husker Rule, Husker Rule. There he is. All right. Husker Rule. Increase ally defense and faction crypts by 30%. Okay. Passive immune stun. Increases the damage inflicted by all allies by 50% when attacking enemies under stun. Uh, removes all stun debuffs from allies and places a 60% increased defense and 25% increased resistance on all allies for two turns. That's bookable down to four, so that's not bad. Four turns bookable down to three. Uh, bookable up to attacking all enemies and having a 75% chance of placing a stun debuff for one turn. Decreases the turn meters of enemies under stun by 15% damage based on defense. So that doesn't suck. Attacks one enemy has a 30% chance of placing a stun debuff for one turn. And again, the damage based on defense and a 40% chance when booked. So not a bad champ. Uh, base speed of 98, pretty good. Uh, I'll be honest with you, for uh, like a epic tier champion. So not too shabby at all. Also, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Today is officially the first day that you can celebrate Christmas uh, without being an asshole. Because uh, we're still all kind of hungover from, you know, we just really, really miss Halloween. And uh, the more I watch the uh, movie The Nightmare Before Christmas, I realize why that movie does, in fact, start. I mean, oh, it's Champion Fragment right there, boom. You know... It starts the day after Halloween, it goes into Christmas, so really, now is the time to watch the movie. So feel free to pick that back up if you want. I don't make any money from it, I just enjoy the shit out of it. Okay, Void Shards. So, we know Rio, Bone Spear, and I'm going out of order on this. Absolutely incredible. You'd think that she's, you know, with a low speed, not so great. But her passive, when receiving any debuffs, instantly transfers them from this champion to the attacker. So it's every three turns, but every three turns, it's like, I'm going to debuff you. It's like, nah, you can take this, though. Perfect body. Six turns, bookable down to three. Cleanses all debuffs, places a block debuffs, heals allies by 35% of their max HP, and then by additional five for each debuff removed from them, and the heal goes up to 55%. I have seen her built where she's healing with the masteries and stuff damn near 70%. It's awful if you're fighting against her. It's great if you're fighting with her on your team. All right, pressure point. Places a stun debuff on the target for one turn as well as a hit point burn, a 60% decrease in defense, 25% weaken, 50% decrease attack, a 30% decrease crit rate for two turns, then attacks on a three-turn cooldown. It's ridiculous. It doesn't have a chance of hitting. You know, you have your accuracy up, it just, it just puts it all on there. It's just like, floop. So, that's gnarly. Attacks one enemy finally, places a 15% continuous heal on the ally with the lowest hit points for one turn. That's including her. Also places a 7.5% continuous heal on all allies with 30% hit points or less. So, she is healing and dealing, uh, a fine, fine support champion. Now let's go into Raka Viletide. Let's see how she does. A support champion. Uh, 99 speed, so about a little faster. Let's see what she's got. Creep. Uh, passive. Uh, three turns, cooldown for two. Active at the start of each turn. Fills the turn meters of all allies by 10%. Passive. At the start of each turn, places a 15% continuous heal buff on the ally with the lowest hit points. Will not place it on this champion. That kind of sucks. I feel like you should be able to get, you know, high on your own supply with that one. Six turns, cool down to four. 
revives all dead allies with 50% hit points, 50% turn meter, places a block debuffs on all allies, and places a block debuffs even if there's no dead allies. So that one's pretty cool. Four turn cooldown, a little slow, but not terrible. Keeps you in the game. Then Oozing Blessing, bookable down to three, removes all debuffs from all allies, places a 50% increase attack and a shield equivalent to 25% of this champion's max hit points. So you build her up with some speed and some good hit points, she is going to crush it. And then Iker of Life attacks one enemy, heals the ally with the lowest hit points by 10% of this champion's max HP. So she can, in fact, heal herself with this one. Damage and heal goes up, so it'll be 30% when fully booked. So she is definitely a fairly gnarly champ. Uh, both of these are Void Shard champions, so get to have some fun with that. So... Hoska rolls open. A little C's. What up, C's? What you doing? So we'll see. Uh, see if C's is any good. Um, I'm gonna go with him being in the orcs. Um, nope. I mean, I'm just blindly guessing at this point. Let's see here. So not orcs. Let's go with Ogren. C's. All right. So he's a new guy, champion, uh, epic. Uh, passive steals 50% of the turn meter from the enemy with the highest turn meter at the end of this champion's turn. Can't be resisted. I like that. Swarm Suffering attacks all enemies. 30% increased crit damage buff on this champion for two turns before attacking, so he attacks and buffs himself. Heals this champion by 5% of their max HP on each critical hit. So that's pretty good. Cooldown to three turns. I like that. Uh, attacks one enemy. Now, let's hear Knight of the Bat, three turns book will attack one enemy three times. Fills the champion turn meter by 10% on each critical hit and places a perfect veil on this champion for a turn. Pretty gnarly. And then Snicker and Slice attacks one enemy, place a 50% increased attack buff on this champ for two turns if the attack is critical. So build him up to crit and watch him hit. I mean, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, baby. Not bad. Uh, definitely one of the better ones to pick up. If uh, the shard event comes through, so could be fun. All right, let's see if we got any whammies this morning. Got any of them whammies? Got some good shit. Come on. Okay, that doesn't suck. A little purple shard there, and all right, so eh, fairly garbage this morning, but is what it is. We do have a new round of Hydra rotating in about five days. That's cool. Clan, I know we're, uh, we're all feeling the burn a little bit, guys, but we can keep going. All right. And we got our clan quests going on. We'll hit those personal limits soon. Let's see what we got on Elite. You know me, guys. You know what I'm going to go for. Uh, Lizard Man Faction. Oof. That one's difficult. Um, yeah, we'll do this. I'll put, put a crap lot of debuffs on the Ice Golem. Because uh, that's how I roll. And let's see here. Did I do Thanksgiving Feast? Look at this. What is this nonsense? All right. So 40 bucks. Rank 5 chicken 6. So uh, 3 gets you into 3. So 3 to 18 is uh, 5, 6. So basically 6, 4 chickens. So that would be 12 and 18. And you have to take 4 to go into 5. So 18 into 4, 16... Why in the world they do that? That's four and two chickens. But so four into this. So basically leaves you for forty bucks, ten rank five chickens, which is two rank six champions for forty bucks. Not terrible. Now, if you guys are interested in me doing math, that's cool. But I'm not doing it. Make a long story short, um, rank four chickens times five. That means basically you get three rank three chickens for four or ten dollars. And then a feast for ten dollars as well, and it looks like let's see here, forty, fifty, with this. And I mean that one's definitely ninety nine. So looks like it's probably going to be about one hundred eighty bucks, give or take. Not terrible, but not something I'm going to be doing. And then look at that, that sweet void pack, monthly pack, Black Friday pack. I mean all this stuff. You want to be spending that sweet green. Right now, I'm uh, 
on fasting. We'll see if it changes. I mean, look at this Thanksgiving pack. That's, oh, we just went through that. All right. Well, guys, I am the God Who Weeps, also known as the Assassin Squatch. I will be kicking the crap out of this and other games this Thanksgiving weekend. Thank you guys for watching. If you like it, please like and subscribe, and we will take it away by punching this guy in the face. Let's do this. Everybody likes to watch. Uh, I mean, I always enjoy this guy getting punched in the mouth. So, guys, have a happy Thanksgiving. Take care. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all very soon. Take care.